Hello everyone. Welcome to this tutorial on Purchases in Front Accounting. In this tutorial, we will learn to Add suppliers Make a purchase order entry Goods receivable note and to create suppliers invoice. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux OS version 14.04 Front Accounting version 2.3.25 To practice this tutorial, you should have knowledge of accounting and front accounting interface. If not, for relevant front accounting tutorials, please visit our website. Let us understand the meaning of purchase. Purchase refers to a product or service that has been bought by an individual or business. An activity of acquiring goods or services to accomplish the goals of an organization. Let us start by opening front accounting interface. Click on the purchases tab. We can see various panels here. The transactions panel is used for making transactions related to purchases. To make a transaction, we have to use the options Purchase Order Entry, Direct GRN, Supplier Invoices. Inquiries and Reports panel is used for making reports and inquiries of the transactions which we make. For this, we have to use the following option, Purchase Orders Inquiry. Maintenance panel is used to set the purchase details. To add the supplier's details, we need to use the option Suppliers. Let us see the procedure for purchases in front accounting. The steps to be followed for a purchase entry are Add suppliers Make purchase order entry Receivable note from a supplier Suppliers invoice But first, let us understand the meaning of supplier. Supplier is a person or business that supplies goods or services. We need to set the suppliers to make a purchase order entry and to manage suppliers data. Switch back to the front accounting interface. Click on the suppliers option. Here, we are prompted to fill in all the necessary information pertaining to the supplier. I have filled the required details here. Please fill the details likewise. Scroll down. To save these changes, click on Add New Supplier Details button. We can see the confirmation message for the saved entry at the top. We need to apply these changes for the new purchase order entry. Scroll down and click on the Update Supplier button. The success message shows that we have updated the customer. Scroll down and click on the back option to return back to the front accounting interface. Let us make a purchase order entry. It is used to register all purchase orders in the system. To do so, click on the purchase order entry option. We can see the details with the supplier name and other related information. This is because we had already updated the details in suppliers earlier. It is mandatory to give suppliers reference. So I will type the suppliers reference as F001. In the item description drop down box, select item as cement. Recall that we have created the item code as 45 for cement in the items and inventory tutorial. I will make use of the same item cement for purchase order entry also. In the quantity field, I will type 150 as the quantity. By default, the required delivery date will always be the next date after the order date. In my case, it is August 5th of 2016. Now, here in the price before tax field, I will type the price as 1500. To save the entry, 
click on the add item button. We can see the amount total is inclusive of the tax which comes to 236,250. Click on the place order button to save these changes. The success message shows that the purchase order has been placed. Also, we can see the following options. Now, we need to receive the items for the purchase order. Click on the option Received Items on this purchase order. We can see the details of the received items for our purchase order. Click on the Process Receive Items button. The pop-up message tells that the purchase order items has been processed. Below that, we can see some more options. After this, we need to receive a purchase invoice. So, click on the Entry Purchase Invoice for this receival. Here, we can see the details to enter Supplier Invoice. Click on the Amount field besides Quick Entry. I will type 500 here. Click on the Go button. We can see the details for the invoice with the expenses. Click on the Enter Invoice button. We can see an error message appears saying you must enter a supplier's invoice reference. We need to enter the supplier's reference. I will type as F001. Click on the Enter Invoice button. The message above indicates that we have successfully processed the supplier invoice. Below that, we can see some more options. Next, we need to pay the supplier for the invoice being made. Click on the Entry Supplier Payment for this invoice. We can see the supplier invoice details. We need to pay the supplier. Also, there has to be some bank balance to pay the supplier. So, in the Bank Amount field, I will type the balance as 1000. Click on the Enter Payment button. The confirmation message shows that we have successfully made the payment. Also, we can see some more options. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to Add Suppliers, Purchase Order Entry, Goods Receivable Note and Suppliers Invoice. As an assignment, add a new supplier for purchases using Suppliers option. Make a new purchase order entry. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorials and give certificates. For more information, please contact us. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by Sheetal Prabhu from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.